Top 5 Credit Myths, presented by Credit Law Center. Myth number five, you only have one credit score. Fact, different lenders may use different versions or weights in your FICO scores. As of 2016, with the latest release of FICO 9, there are now 56 different versions of your FICO score. Myth number four, keeping your credit card balances at 50% will improve your credit score. Fact, fact is that your credit score is ascending, not descending. That means you don't start off with an 850 perfect score, you start out with a 350 and start to gain points based on the types of accounts that you have and how you use them. A good way to remember credit is the ABC shown here. The closer your balance is to zero, the closer you are to a good score, meaning 1% of your credit limit will give you an A plus score on your credit report. 9% balance would give you an A minus. Note, even if you pay on time you, and don't do anything wrong, if you have more than a 30% balance on your credit card, that's still a C rating. 50% and above is a D. And keep in mind, one late payment in the last 24 months equals an F rating, regardless of your balance. Myth number three, closing credit cards will help your credit score. Fact, you can see on this pie chart that only 35% makes up the pay history of your entire credit score. The other 65% that makes up your score can be affected just by opening one new account and transferring a balance. This is the most common mistake we see people with good credit make. Myth number two, paying a collection account will help your credit score. The fact is, paying an old collection will update the date of last activity. Some FICO scoring models give less than 2% difference on whether or not the collection is paid or not. And the most weight is given on the date of last activity. So if the collection is old and reporting correctly and the consumer goes in and pays it, then it simply updates the date of last activity and has a much larger negative impact on your score than it had being an unpaid collection. Myth number one, credit reports are accurate. The FTC re released a report in 2012 that one in every five reports contained error errors. 79% of all credit reports. That means over 40 million Americans have mistakes on their credit. And we will now show you some of the most common mistakes that we find on credit reports. But first, let's talk about some facts about collections. And this was published by the CFPB. 31.6% of all credit reports have one or more collection on their credit report. 67.5% of all collections result from unpaid bills rather than unpaid loans. Over half are medical. The median unpaid non-medical collection is $366. The median unpaid medical collection is only $207. In a 5% sample of credit reports, approximately 1,400 different collection agencies were identified. And recent studies reveal about 80% of medical bills contain errors. So what does some inaccurate reporting look like? Here's a collection company. It says right here it's a collection service. So what's wrong with the reporting? There's no date of last activity. It's showing as an installment loan, and it's showing a past due balance. Now here's another one, collection services. No date of last activity. Again, showing as an installment loan. This consumer never agreed to pay this collection company and structured payments. And the past due amount, they were never given a, a due date either. This is a collection, not a loan. So what's the correct reporting? collection services. Collection account is an open collection and no past due. It does have a balance, $602, but no past due amount. Now, if you'll notice, 
this post doesn't even have a date of last activity. That's how difficult it is to sometimes find completely accurate postings on credit bureaus. Now this Midland funding uh, collection services posting is pretty accurate. It's an open collection, there's no past due, and they do have the date of last activity on there as well. Here's a credit report with nine different entries. As you can see, one is accurate. I'm just gonna go through a few of these and you can see all the red on these reports. These are how many mistakes that we find typically on a daily basis on consumers' credit reports. And it just continues on and on and on. So these are the items that we use to leverage to get items removed from the report. But what happens if the collection company doesn't remove them? We sue them and we get our consumers' money. You'll see here some pretty big players in the credit world. Portfolio Recovery, Midland Funding, TransUnion and Equifax. You might be familiar with those as our credit bureaus. So how long does it take from deny to approve? Well, this consumer, we went from denied in October of 2011 to approved in December 2011, just a couple of months. Our average process is about five months. So let's talk about some illegal collection practices, some written violations. These are things that consumers receive in the mail. Now this may be a typical collection letter that someone receives. The problem with it is who do you send it to? Let me explain. We have Lending Edge Recovery Solutions. We have LVNV Funding. And we have Citibank. So who do we owe the money to and where should we send the payment? The law is the least sophisticated consumer has to be able to understand what the letter means, why they're being collected on, and who to send the money to. Here's another one. We have three different companies on this. Who do you send the money to? Who's collecting on this? Who did I originally owe the balance to? And here's a good one. This one looks like a check. A consumer might actually go try to cash this check. In fact, our client did. He thought it was a check coming to him for $51. Come to find out, he actually owed AT&T $51 and they'd sent it to a collection agency. So what does all this cost? Well, Credit Law Center works on contingency. So what does that mean to you? It means that we don't invoice unless the item actually goes away from your report. Here's a list of our fees per item per deletion. So if we get a collection off of a consumer's report, we charge them $65. Bankruptcies are 120, foreclosures are 120. They take a little bit more work. Judgments are 65, and if there's late payments, yeah, we can help with those too. $30 for a late payment that we get deleted from the report. Here's a resource site for you, freecredithub.com. You can go on this site and you can pull your credit report from all three bureaus for only a dollar. You can get identity theft protection, monthly credit monitoring, student loan consolidation, and this is a big one. How do you establish credit? There's some resources on there for credit establishment credit cards. There's also information about tax liens and how to get your rent reported to your credit report. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any additional questions or would like a personal review of your credit report, please give us a call at 1-800-449-3070. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day.